The No Asshole Rule, Building a Civilized Workplace and Surviving One That Isn't, by Robert I. Sutton, Ph.D., provides both a conceptual framework and practical advice for recognizing, dealing with, and eliminating negative behavior in the workplace, particularly behavior that demeans and disrespects others. Sutton argues that such behavior is not only harmful to employees' well-being, but also detrimental to organizational performance and success. Sutton begins by defining what an asshole is in the context of the workplace. He identifies the hallmark of an asshole as someone who consistently makes those around them feel belittled, devalued, or disrespected. This behavior could range from overt bullying and verbal abuse to more subtle forms of disrespect like backhanded compliments or teasing that has a sharp edge to it. Sutton emphasizes that this rule is not about occasional episodes of bad behavior, which everyone is guilty of, but rather about consistent patterns. One major point Sutton makes is the quantifiable cost of assholes in an organization. He discusses how such individuals can create a toxic work environment, leading to decreased motivation, increased turnover, impaired teamwork, and wasted time dealing with the bad behavior. He even tries to monetize the impact through a concept called the total cost of assholes, TCA, which involves accounting for factors like employee turnover, reduced productivity, and the impact on organizational culture. Sutton then proposes the titular No Asshole Rule, which suggests that an organization should have a zero-tolerance policy for such behaviors. Implementing the rule involves clearly defining what behaviors are unacceptable and then developing procedures for dealing with offenders. This can range from formal processes to more informal peer enforcement. He also notes the importance of leaders setting the tone by modeling respectful behavior themselves and taking quick and decisive action when others violate the rule. Throughout the book, Sutton provides real-world examples of companies that have successfully implemented the rule and reap the benefits in terms of employee satisfaction and organizational performance. He also details stories from companies that have suffered due to a failure to address toxic behaviors among their staff. A portion of the book is devoted to strategies for individuals on dealing with assholes when they encounter them in the workplace. Sutton suggests techniques such as mental distancing, developing emotional resilience, and creating support networks among colleagues. He also discusses the challenging decision of when it's time to leave a toxic environment if the situation is not improving. Sutton addresses the dangers of power dynamics within the workspace. He elaborates on how power can corrupt individuals and how the hierarchical nature of most organizations can create opportunities for abuse. Power can make assholes of people who were not previously so, largely due to a lack of accountability. Therefore, Sutton suggests checks and balances to prevent power-induced asshole behavior. A significant chapter of the book is dedicated to the idea that anyone can act like an asshole and that we should be vigilant for such tendencies within ourselves. Sutton prompts readers to engage in regular self-reflection and to be open to feedback from others. He offers up the mirror test, asking individuals to consider whether their actions would be acceptable if someone else were doing them to their loved ones. The book goes on to discuss the delicate balance between fostering a direct, performance-driven culture and steering clear of asshole behavior. Sutton clarifies that being a hard-driving leader and demanding excellence does not necessitate being an asshole. The key, he suggests, is maintaining humanity and respect while pushing for high standards. In line with his argument for a civilized workplace, Sutton discusses the importance of constructive conflict and how to disagree and debate without descending into personal attacks. He acknowledges that conflict is a normal and often necessary part of business, but emphasizes the need for maintaining decorum and respect during disagreements. The book extends this to cover methods of delivering and receiving criticism effectively, such that it focuses on behavior and processes rather than becoming personal. In the latter part of the book, Sutton offers guidance for organizational leaders who want to instill the no-asshole rule into their culture. This involves not just hiring practices that screen for respectful behavior, but also the more difficult task of weeding out existing assholes in the organization.
He asserts the importance of not hiring promising candidates who exhibit asshole behaviors, no matter how talented they are on paper. Sutton asserts that a single toxic hire can disproportionate damage to team dynamics and overall morale. Sutton also tackles the challenging subject of how assholes manipulate their way into organizations by disguising their toxic behavior during the recruitment process. This can be countered through varied interviewing and selection methods designed to unearth true character and behavior patterns. In his conclusion, Sutton posits that the path to a civilized workplace is ongoing. He stresses that the no-asshole rule needs constant enforcement and that organizations should strive to create environments where empathy and consideration are as important as performance metrics. He challenges readers to consider the long-term costs and benefits of tolerating negative behavior, suggesting that the benefits of a respectful, civilized workplace far outweigh any short-term gains that might be achieved by tolerating assholes. Sutton's book, with its mix of research, real-life examples, and practical advice, offers a strong case for why the no-asshole rule is essential for individual well-being and organizational health. He conveys that while it might be challenging to implement and uphold such a rule, the positive outcomes for employees and the company's success are well worth the effort. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.